Good afternoon, traders. Well, we said the uh, US CPI released not too long ago where there was an elevated reading expected from the July readings, but uh, we did have a small beat with the core month on month coming at 0 0.3 versus the expected 0 0.2. Um, the headline yearly year on year figure 3.7 versus expected 3.6. So US dollar was pretty well bid coming into the CPI with those elevated readings expected. Um, the, this is a pretty important figure. It was the last CPI before the Fed's meeting next week. Um, the beat of CPI obviously didn't uh, sway the markets too much because the, the move quickly higher in the US dollar and yields was retraced. Um, I guess the market's seeing that the small beat there is not enough to, to really sway the needle on what the Fed's going to do next week. But it does play into that narrative that um, the Fed can't, you know, aren't done on their fight against inflation with these figures. And it does open them up to more than likely a, a probably a hawkish uh, presser and statement out with their decision last next week. Um, on the technicals, you saw the dollar index rally up to that 105 resistance, that major resistance level there before uh, retracing quite violently from there. Uh, the 10-year the yields also jumping above 4.3 before turning around in tandem with the dollar. So a couple of technical headwinds for the dollar there with that big resistance at 105 and yields having a lot of trouble over that 4% level. Um, it does open us up next week for a pretty important Fed meeting. The markets are pricing in only a 5% chance they're going to hike, but um, it'll be all eyes on the presser and statement after this figure today.